information and Envy are going to start to march towards him. Again, a big spot for JC standing, but even then, Chemicals is going to be on the front line. Shot up. Had so many pixels in front of him, but to his side, a little bit of a flank on, if anything. Still, Chemicals and Gangsta able to get two frags. Nothing too, too crazy. Again, Envy in this round, they're just looking for a whole lot of damage to the economy of Immortals. See if they can take away some of those SMGs and force out a reinvestment. But through the smoke instead, Chemicals, he's going to maintain his hot. It's none other than Gangsta with a Phantom looking over the cross. Not oh. going to be able to take down food. Oh man, Stinger v Phantom. It's going to be the Stinger to win it out. And just like that, Immortals down a man after the kill from JC Stanny. Envy has control of B. Now it's down to the post plant. Oh, I think Chemicals at least heard the, the sound cue. Maybe not food. This is a huge position. They're not going to expect this whatsoever. The spike down, planted for B main. And you saw how food control in this mid position can hold on to these rotations. And he's going to hold on to them all. Sure as hell. Food with three in the round. Already the revive charged up. Immortals, they've got nowhere to go. It's just Chemicals. And he's got to save. Nothing you can really do. But again, food playing a huge, huge part of this round. Slow work to prevent anyone to swing out mail. Again, Envy, they put an emphasis towards mid, they understand this map, they control these rotations, and they can go back and forth between the sites fluidly whenever they need, whenever they want to, and Immortals got caught completely off guard with that three player ace. Oh. Much to play with here in Envy, they completely have this site, but two players flanking quick into heaven, Crashies, he does have a Vandal, he's got the firepower, and he's gonna catch one off guard oh. in the second, <laughs> Chemicals wanted the gun, <laughs> Crashies was completely aware, there's those Seekers charged up in FNS, oh, gonna maybe add another tally to the ult. Indeed he will. Takes down nature in mid, crashes. Already had seekers. Not just like that. That there could be someone there for immortals. But the lockdown ready to go. And Envy. How can they hold this one down? They'll be forced out of the site, but immortals, oh. here they come. Here we go. And not only that, but a lockdown to make things really chaotic. These players from Envy, they got to back on out, but even then they're still holding down the site. That's massive for Crashies. Catching up two, foot on the front lines. It doesn't even matter. Chemicals and JC Stanley still catching up frags. Everyone left away. And just like that, end position. But Envy, they still got to hold on back and waiting for the Immortals players to really show any pixels. And indeed they do. Chemicals tiptoes the line in between safety and absolute death because now envy they're still hounding that heaven area but here we go so it's exactly what you mentioned that stack early round is going nuts for them jc standing in a great position gonna be able to trade back two kills for this team and now envy restricted down to two is depending on none other than crashies to make his entry shot up is there with a trade you said and you said trade heavy and here we go 1v2 for food yeah, food does have a revive and we talked about how good he's in these clutches well he can maybe get a kill and get a revive but 10 seconds left uh, it's going to be a little bit impossible got up good to swing on back and yeah again there's that immortals trade presence they have they're really adventuring at this point in terms of what would be a singular player up towards that oh. mid side but wow okay the boom buddy places it right on top of the wall it's like he's playing tony hawk's pro skater at this point <laughs> Gets a couple of points off of <laughs> off of at least a quick grind, and there you go. Quick trick shot, and now we have shot up now with a couple of shots back. And oh, the double dismiss the for more oh for more information. That is massive. Envy now down to a singular player. JC standing here for the cleanup. And no, you're absolutely right. Shot up loves single trip. What control can they get here? Shot up. Stopped by a smoke, and now stopped by Caboose is forced to back away. But there are three players here, Gus and Envy, with a minute 10 left on the clock. Might be looking to actually split back into A Heaven instead. Could definitely happen because now Immortals, they're actually letting off the gas pedal mm -hmm. in that Heaven area. So, again, just in terms of timing, that would be a great, oh, the wall. great, ooh, great optimal time for them. But even then, wall goes down and you have... At least one person waiting up in a little bit of an off angle could catch a rotation back. So we got to pay attention to that interaction. So with 45 seconds left, Envy, although we were talking about the potential over towards A, and especially with that util setup, could definitely grind them out. They're still aiming down the B site. We usually see a very heaven heavy pick but instead it's only going to be jc standing holding it down it's gonna be able to get one trade back for caboose still one on site it's chemicals with a tight angle and he gets another one back still more to pay attention to that's a slick class pack but still not gonna be able to find anything more shut up with a big frag now it's a 1v3 for food 
He's not even gonna go for the plant. Still oh. wants a couple more frags to really make this one worth it. But with the wall going down, shut up just around the corner. So much pressure. Food's gonna go down to Gangsta. So still nice and disciplined as Immortals. It almost looks like their one goal there was just to try to take up the ult orb, boot the heck out of there, and Gangsta has control of mid with a kill and elevator. So he's controlling the rotation now from that elevator area. Still a little bit of time could be taken off the clock, still going into spawn as Mummy finally takes down Gangsta. But even then, Immortals, they take all of this attention, all of these frags, and they double back again, Sully. They're on this A site, and they're here for an easy plant. If they could get it down in time, FNS, what a rotation! Perfectly on time mummy fns both with frags plays jc stani affected in caboose he plays around this Ooh. box this is massive from caboose no this way in the smoke now he's got to wait there's one down goes nature spin back for two oh. and caboose finds three that's what you want when you're in the back side and he's put envy in a 2v2 as chemicals comes big they've down got the advantage immortals I mean, Immortal somehow does one better. Massive from Chemicals with a 3k, but now it's FNS. Now in a 1v3. Ooh. Oh, the revival from Gangsta. Okay, things got a little bit trickier. I was about to say the 1v2. <laughs> Very much possible, but uh, 1v3. Fresh HP and power on site. Coverage of Heaven. They're getting all that information. And speaking oh. of info, FNS, you know, essentially just vibing. They do more or less speak him out. The boom bot doesn't catch anything, but again, a, a tricky position. It was almost literally a one and done, but he could have just tried his luck and oh my god. Uh, shot up with a glorified Goomba stomp at the end there. So now Envy now with the three players remaining. They have ulties, but most likely they're going to carry them over Ooh. into the next round. Not much to actually fight back with and oh my. Chemicals and Gangsta still with two back in. Mame, really the more important player to actually get the save up completely over towards the other side. So that's a little bit of early information, but is it exactly optimal? We don't know just yet. Chemicals with a showstopper not going to be able to catch anything. Instead, now FNS with a really good time to ramp push with a massive 2k. Now Gangsta goes up on the wall and we didn't even see the end. The quick empress immortals they emerge and food actually right on top gets a nice angle onto jc standing but that eye is not gonna do anything oh, oh, oh. instead now crashy's gonna be able to get one back but still food there to help chemicals with a massive one but still gets traded still now a three on three as gangsta actually gets the revival but nature the timing on that flick is so massive for immortals they get the main advantage he's trying to hold down heaven now fns Gonna be able to get a whole lot of information off the Nero theft. Not only that now, but a counter revival potentially, but Gangsta shuts it down. I didn't even realize it. That's more than clutch from Gangsta, as now he only has to face on FNS. Low HP, and he gets it. Gangsta. It's just Caboose in the back. He's been so good in this pivot position, and it's a team flash that almost opened things up, or apologies, I think it was the guiding light instead from Crashies, but still Immortals recuperate. Shot up pushing the back line, has got oh three, my. and that could be it for Envy. It's yet another banger of a round from Shot Up. It's just consistent frags, isn't it? FNS, he's tried his hardest multiple rounds in this game where he's had multi frags, but this one, he, it's such a tall task. It's almost improbable. It's almost impossible. FNS around the corner, gonna be able to take down JC Stanny, and Shot Up is there. Four kills for. Now that he's got some buddies by his side, he's looking to take the fight. Ooh, mummy. Like you mentioned, still taking on that initial contact. And there you go. Gets two. Could potentially get a third. And there you go. Again, just easy cleanup frags anyways. But it's lovely to see mummy back on the kill tally as FNS actually with a couple of good little flow chart in a sense. But Immortals still very, very slowly making their way onto this A site as Immortals. Or I mean, Envy actually. They're still maintaining things fairly even throughout the map. But in comes the actual take from Immortals. They're going to be able to get this plant down. Caboose still on top. Same thing with Shot Up. Taking one back onto Crash. Good angle from Food. Still two in this back line. How? What? Uh, Food with a couple of shots through the wall. He certainly 
should not be alive but now fns the last person remaining on 1v3 with nothing but a stinger and he walks out right into the crosshair of jc stanny J he actually has a good line of sight over towards that a site as immortals has mostly made their way over four players in the back line quite a bit of util to make their way on not a lot of ultis to really help them out but actually the run it back could help them out on the front lines here comes food has a little bit of space to work with but he's gonna have to run it all the way back as chemicals gets himself two massive frags now Envy, three players remaining, and Crashies takes one back on site onto JC Stanny. That's two for him thus far. Not only has he equalized the round, but he's taking it forward as now Food gets one back. Chemicals needs to ace to win the round, and oh boy, he could pull it off. A quick smoke towards the left side, and Chemicals actually wants to use. Oh boy, the blade storm around the corner, but Crashies is there. Get immortals. Right and true on this ace site. Shot up, able to stop Caboose before he gets away. And down goes uh... Robin to try and contest. Oh, a smoke within a smoke. Classic. <laughs> oh! To make his way through. Okay, nothing can stop him at this point. The double right clicks. And if it weren't for that re... Oh my god, if it weren't for that Hunter's Fury, would have been able to really get anything off of that. So, but instead, now Crashies with a 3k at the end. It's pure chaos. Trying to deny the spike plan, but Chemicals, he's pushing forward. I talked about how they love to pressure this back lines in Caboose. Too many places to look at and only two eyes. Immortals, got one player, but how do they hold on to it now? Mummy with a bare pixel of nature's head, rips it off, and Immortals, they're down to just three here, as Envy have the man advantage moving forward. And I love it, even in a more dynamic eco, they could still have a little bit of a chance. Mame dashes right into coverage, but FNS and food, what a massive flank. JC Stanny, last person remaining now in a 1v3, and you are about to get a double peek in that back line. Spot it out, but Mummy's there to reinforce. Huge Hunter series, all well, the force of oh. players into his line of sight. Mummy able to pick up a second, what? nice clean shot, might get a third here as well. Nature might walk into it. Oh, Mummy, I thought he was gonna have that one, but Nature, Catch him looking the wrong way. Now, how do they adjust? 4v2. It's shot up in nature. It might have just been shot up at FNS, not made, had been able to connect those shots. He's right. pivoting around at least the yellow box. This is so difficult here for Immortals with a minute left. Oh, wait a minute! You gotta hold your tongue, Sully, because nature is here again! keep calling him an impact fragger right I, I keep going back to it but that's exactly what it is the lineup the one two combo has a couple of foreheads to aim at and they all just walk into him immortals now in a two on two in what He's seemed a like a dead and gone situation now with the lockdown once again he could surely capitalize on what is these last two nv players wrapped around this site and that's great coverage caboose is going to be able to watch over towards long though gonna be able to watch out that rotation in shot up still waiting on site he's the one with a spike he's the one waiting out for a little bit of space caboose with a spam that could be able to find anything but instead with a smoke up still a difficult scenario as he doesn't have any info this is and this is as even as you can get caboose still has to capitalize on a frag back but he's gonna try to go for the info the play info. off the teleport and not only that but a flank in for food it's gonna come in at a very pitiful time but the alarm bot goes off and shut up catches him no way did nature think of that earlier now shut up gets the kill back and oh back not only that but a turret ups are really distracted not only that but act as a meat shield that's wonderfully done by fns JC Stanny takes back food. FNS somehow still alive. Mame looking through a smoke. Might have actually gotten a ping off of it to try to get a frag back. But instead now, Mame with the knives, with the blade storm, gets another one. 2v4 for Immortals. Nature, he pulled the miracle off just the round before. But this one seems almost improbable. Oh, but, oh my god, no way. No way. I just cast her curse them too. Immortals, they still have a chance now with Nature going off. He does it again. Nature gets himself too. FNS now, 30 HP, get off to find nature. Ring around the rosy, so much time being chucked off the clock. This man is Mr. Fourth Quarter himself. Indeed, he's there. Nature now with the plants. Still JC Stanny back with a kill. In comes shot up. Takes one down onto FNS. Still Mame. He could go absolutely massive oh, in this Mame. position. And indeed, he gets himself one, but not more than one. Caboose 1v2, 9 HP. It's looking improbable, like I said before, but no way. Oh, he dies to the turrets. 
around the corner he gets the wide swing out the shot up yes immortals now they have three players around this a side as envy they start up their take huge paranoia that's gonna halt things as chemicals actually now has time to reload and jc standing is here oh. to clean up how on earth did he get two headshots out of that and he's most likely gonna clean up this last one of course he is 3k for J here we go Food now on that front line so watching over towards heaven immortals certainly taking their time on the rotate especially with the spike not being planted yet and by the time it does two people on site another person really just looking out for a couple of lurks could actually be able to flank on but instead shot up he's gonna group up with his teammates back onto the a site and now food actually with a run it back out. wants to approach immediately wow nature a slick headshot immediately Still shuts down that momentum. Shot up now with a stinger. No way he gets anything off of this. Crashies able to take down Nature and food just runs right into shot up. Now shot up now in a 1v2. These two players are just playing on time. He goes right onto ropes. 8 HP now for shot up. He needs to run. Indeed he does. Still has to go for the spike. He might get no it. He might get it. it. Oh my he got God, it. He, it. he actually did. Died. It's at least gonna be an off peak in chemicals i got so scared they were gonna line up there and shot up <laughs> off of that play has gotten aggressive and of course he gets a kill 5v3 instantly as immortals regain control and they dance around the map with these rotations and again put that into perspective who on earth gets so aggressive over in tunnels like that always gonna especially on up. the defensive side it's only shot up right <laughs> <laughs> it's only gotta be him and he's still Ooh. going for it Did he just oh walk my by? gosh <laughs> Like crashes and he still has an opportunity for another if he knows that food is here not only that but he dismisses away and he's safe oh man unreal but it was unreal. food though it was food though in the last that opened up at least the a site for envy right he's right. done it here on b but they have no this spike that's the problem in fns he's yeah, no spike. in the middle of nowhere but <laughs> oh, he can FNS? cut up rotation FNS? fns can he get no! two he gets no! one he can't oh. find the second Oh, chemicals, they would have backed oh. away. He nearly had two. That would have been a game changer, at least a round changer. Now, boot up top. He's gone down. And FNS, no spike. And he's in a 1v3 now. Oh. Because he used the lockdown, but there is still one player. I didn't even realize. Casey Stanny, he's got to go big, but he's going home this time around. Caboose guns him down. There should have been no chance he gets anything there. And yep, he does get nothing. JC Stanny down. And Immortal still with the lockdown, though, for this retake. Still very much slow, but with the spike down, Archer starts to mount. Immortals, they still have the lockdown, but with all these players from MV already in that back line, there's really no use for it unless you get a lockdown a little bit closer to things. There oh, and indeed they do. They all try to make as out. much space as possible on site, and it's essentially right in the middle. All these players, they have to back up essentially into heaven. This is such a massive lockdown but they actually have to get the defuse first in they go pretty much all off style going right into the volley nature with two gonna make it three no gangsta gets it instead but it blows up at the very end shot up up top bc stanny not too far and well bc stanny once that early peak food on a run it back how much space can he get caboose from nowhere in food with a swing immortals dismantled oh once more envy pull the plug on them and now it's just two I'm about to become just one now oh my quick flank is now player in mid is down to extremely low hp and that's gonna be chemicals finally going down quick miss actually from mame nature in a 1v4 taking a sweet time in a sense trying to see if anyone actually wants to peek out towards him so these last few players in very good post playing positions in terms of time wasting and indeed fns is going to be there for it nature and again big in the sense that he can realistically only get one out of this and not only that but if he emerges through the smoke he could just get one quick dash and he makes his no way, way. way of course he gets himself too it's just how chemicals is isn't it with a spike trying to go away still fully in the control of envy but wow oh wow chemicals has opened up the round slipping back and forth 
We'll see if we can get a little bit more. Oh. Gassed up already. Down goes another swarm. They've delayed this spike plant for so, so long. They're watching for the mid lurk Ooh, in nature. He's Not going to escape. It's just down to Chemicals. two. They can deny it. He's going for the big oh, kill. What? And they've got it through the box. Immortals contested this. It's only been Caboose lurking around. And this is big crashes. They don't go around Ooh. him. Lockdown goes in. Nature dancing around. And here comes Crashies. He might have chemicals back turned and shot up. He's Nothing. creeping on out of here, but it's Crashies again. He has to go huge. Lockdown finally triggered. Nobody caught off guard and Crashies oh, everybody to his woes. Mummy with one. Nature goes down the spike already in. What can they do? Crashies with is. one. Crashies with two. He might just get three and he might have just won the round. Shot up in the clutch. It's down to just two and they're both around the box here. How does he pull this one out? He's got one Leer. No oh, info. No he can't way. even get the first. Envy take map. And these players up towards bathrooms but it's a big, big flash but a slower from back. Now Nature looking for a contest on the other side to find one, oh, but Crashies, Crashies jumping around with a frenzy <laughs> has actually made this one winnable now. <laughs> I like the unison there, Crashies. <laughs> Very much a question mark on how he was actually able to get both kills, but oh, now he's able okay. to get a third, and that one is a little bit more trusty too. Right from behind onto JC standing. Now it's gonna be a two on two. How on earth is this possible, gangsta? He's the one in heaven waiting out for the contact, and ooh, Crashies again. Again, it. making us mince our words, making us really question what on earth is going on yes, with the recon bolt. Both players are spotted. Not only that, but the wall up in U-Haul is taken down. Finally, Crashies goes down, and that nade is following food all the way into the back. With the defuse getting stuck at about half. Kemi, with all of that options being covered, they have three players all the way over towards B. And Immortals, they have to make the full rotate. Yeah, Gang said it was shock first and trying to delay. Now, with this rotation going in, Gus, they're all coming from the defender spawn. They've got nothing towards Suka, nothing towards the opposite side, and they're pushing elbow your edges. So they're looking for an early Ooh. fight, and they've got it. Oh, they've absolutely got it. FNS is just spraying everywhere that he can. Just holding down Mouse One and. No! No! No food! Oh no! Oh, that is so unfortunate, dude! Oh, he thought he had actually made a little bit of a buffer for himself, but that's just delaying time. He finally gets the wall down, and Gangsta gets the kill in the end. Oh my. Brown Sin can not only that, but the Seekers go out. Again, massive paranoia. That's going to stop all that momentum making their way on. And not only that, but the person in Elbow could be able to actually get himself an early kill. But the wall actually goes up. But instead, now Caboose making his way up. Gangsta takes it back. Chemicals, same thing. Now it's a two on five. Two players in the front of sight with a cage up on the side. Food in such an inconspicuous spot. Just looking for that first contact from the back main area. Not going to be able to find anything. Instead, now it's going to be Mummy in a 1v5 he goes down to jc drops the boom but that's if there is even going to be needed one as jc stani already picks up the first but mummy with these knives and fns with these peak are making things a little bit scary as mummy with another it's a two versus three and the hunter Siri is put to waste okay mummy just takes again full control of that back spawn not only that but a smoke up that's gonna stop the approach even longer now oh shot up He's got to run to go bit by bit, but there you go. Oh, shot up has to take that first interaction against Caboose. Caboose has it. Now it's still a little bit of a crossfire. Gonna be able to make his way on. That is a massive, massive kill from shot up. But not only that, but a massive whiff coming in from Crash. He still gets his second back. Mummy around the corner in a great off angle. Not only that, but the Hound making his way in. Mummy goes down. Gangsta 1v2 makes it into a 1v1. And there you go. Gangsta wins it back for Immortals. And again, no matter what, there's still always a chance. He has it, right? Okay. Yeah. Tries to use the run up back out towards Long. He's got a lot of info, though. Sees two players. The spike will be going down. JC Stani. He's actually going to deny to your nature. Nature comes up big with oh three. My. He is a freak on the site. And JC Stani finally comes to the rescue. They don't need anything else. They just again. need two players. Where have I seen this before? Brazil Germany scoreline, 7-1. Again. Mortals this time on top though. Envy, although they are on a little Huge. bit of an ego. They could have made their way through, but that initial peak from food. Like you said, had to be absolutely massive, but that's a huge trade back for the boys of Immortals. Is now shot up on the front end, can't get anything done, and now a cage at the perfect time. JC Stanny can't get anything done from the rotations on, so instead now Envy control this site, still wanting to take a little bit more, but that cage dissipates. 
Not the perfect time. Chemicals takes it back onto Mummy. Bots won, and they've got <laughs> all the info. Now, Envy, can they get the kills onto the site? With the info jump peak, that's at least one over towards Snoop Cup with the Meryl. rest of Envy. They still don't stop over and long, but crashes through the smoke and through a wall. Takes down Chemicals. Shut up doesn't seem like he's stopping either. They're running back. He doesn't want to go back. He wants to get these kills beforehand, but the player through the teleporter goes in at the perfect time. And the two. rotation on A is fully underway. There's a person over towards Short that could be able to make that flank really quickly. Same thing with the player on A. Finally, Gangsta takes down Crashies, but even then, Nature with a massive opportunity in terms of information. JC Stanny in bathroom. Nature catches Caboose completely off guard. Oh. And Nature, he comes up clutch again. JC Stanny, I was developing him the entire time, but it was Nature to come out big again. This team loves to use frenzies and Crashies with the Ghost has already got a dink. Trailblazer and the Guiding Light to delay. How long can he hold these players back? There's a big emphasis of utility in this fight, and there comes Food. Wall up in hookah so he only has to focus in one direction and caboose looking for another onto nature it's envy lights out in this one and it's gangsta left in a clutch i have the spike gangsta 1v3 full control of sight two players from envy about to be three over towards that hookah area again such a tall task for the man he has almost nothing to work with he would have needed a kill off of that first contact to really make things happen but in the end, Envy has the info, and... This is going to be an A play, but they're sticking around just in case. FNS up close. Great paranoia. He comes in big, at least, on the side of Caboose. And Mume trying to hold it down. It's Gangsta with another, and mummy has got to back away. Immortals have spun this back, and they are pressuring Mummy to his death. With Mame going down, and Envy now down to two players, this retake. Oh man, it becomes so tough, so laborious, but watch out. Food could definitely be the X factor here. Making his way through bathroom, but essentially this peak from heaven has to come out at almost literally the same yeah. exact time that Food goes out. They have to split the attention, the right. they have to make their way on, nobody peeks them out, the flash from Crashy, oh! and there you go! Like I said, Food at the perfect time, able to get himself two! Now JC Stanny, 1v2! Paranoia at a, at a great time, doesn't get Food, and Food gets it! How on earth does Envy do it? Two on four. Caboose is, they're gonna try and get him down and Caboose. He's able to get away and even with a kill, Cheeky and Mummy's here to save him if need be. Envy, fight for control and they've actually ended up winning it. That best point down, the Immortals can definitely spring in onto the site. Oh, absolutely. JC standing with a big kill. Immortals, same thing. Now they go back on shot up, depending on him for the bathroom's opening. But watch out for the Seekers. Watch out for the oh, retake oh, over towards Short. Gangsta has the hold, Gangsta. and he's going to make it a second. There you go. It's as easy you, as you. Them so, so deadly. As one player goes down, there is always going to be a second at a different angle or at the same angle to swing. The Mortals are playing their game perfectly, and Envy, they are getting locked. Two players push towards Short, however. There's one late lurk, at least for Nature, to try and spot them off guard. They are fighting here for Hookah. He needs to force food out. He can retake if necessary, but a wall ready if he wants to. Now with Envy. Mm -hmm. Slowing things down here. Immortals have to try and adjust. This game is nature with the kill. Is he ready for the second drop? He's got the crowd. Nature with a 2k. So Already early that. on. And he was he was on the lurk. Yeah. That's the lurker getting the 2k, and that's a site being opened wide open. Still crash, he's making his way back. Not only that, but with the Seekers that, again, recharge essentially in just about two rounds, but Nature doesn't care. 3k from Nature, still looking over towards the back, the bathroom area, because man, oh man, Envy, Nature. they have two players completely disconnected. Nature gets himself a fourth. Foon now the last one remaining in a 1v5. Food? I mean, just gotta take it pick by pick. Immortals, well done here on Bind. Right, Immortals instantly take over, but there's one person, Mummy underneath, and Crashies in the heavens. Where is this thing gonna go? Players full blinded by the breach flashpoint, and those are huge, huge kills. Oh As my. Food comes in big, he's got two, and it's ganked on low HP, and Food cleans it up. First round of the board, at least for the side of Envy, and it looks shaky. You talked about the A split, but Envy did. At least a stellar, in theory, a stellar take for the boys of Envy, but Mame is here for the insurance, but with full stairs control and nobody watching the outside courtyard area, Envy, they're left absolutely exposed. Now it's a two on three. 
boys of envy and they still want to take it relatively slow they still use the whole lot of util early on in the round but i still think that they have the two fresh smokes that could still definitely help them out on the take and the paranoia is here to help one in the backside oh fully blind but there you go chemicals and jc stanny looking outside the spirit in that area Oh, Caboose. With a, with a turret there in a beautiful position, but speaking of beautiful positions, that was Caboose with a massive paranoia, but JC Stanny, essentially with a perfectly, perfectly timed swing, gonna be able to get that first one. So J JC Stanny, still getting another one. Food takes one back on two. JC, but even then, Immortals, they take that spike all the way from the B site and going to be able to plant within seconds. Now Envy with a 3v4 retake. Keep in mind that Buddha's a rolling thunder and he's got almost full util except for two flashpoints. This retake is so, so viable here in Immortals. They back away into A main. He can huddle them all up. This rolling thunder oh, could my. come in clutch, but I think it's pointed the wrong way, Ghost. They're going to try it. They're going to get it completely no. wrong. Oh, completely wrong indeed. And they still have the Sova for the recon bolt just to get that information through the smoke. And not only that, but Nano Swarm gets popped too. Smoke up in the back line. Food, he has to force out the situation. Trying to make his way through. The fault line is not going to hit anyone. None of this breach util is hitting. And now it's just down to his peaks. <laughs> we see it all the time, but it never gets too old, right? And it's so yeah. goofy to see a player just strafing oh. around the corner like oh. that. It's a full coverage, but chemicals, man. Oh. There you go. Four kill. Four k thus far for chemicals. And essentially, it's just a one, two, three combo. Just clearing at every angle and can again as goofy as this round has been immortals they're still looking very very strong when nature getting the last kill in the end of things yeah envy again they although envy they do have the util to use immortals is still making this tough as they quickly make their way on site food however holding things back the hundred fear crash he's not exactly hitting finally gets up one jc standing in the front lines able to get another that's a second kill for food and immortals oh. they run into a brick wall and three the smoke mommy takes down gangsta you couldn't see it more unfortunate for immortals but man oh man they make the hold worth it but now in comes nature now 1v4 yeah no this one's done 2h for a spawn rotate or a spawn flank still nothing of the sort that's gonna happen envy the last time that they tried to play out two on site didn't exactly work out in their favor but this is classic for fns just playing around the cage over in short just waiting for players to get spotted out but Not nothing's food. gonna happen from it so instead food in the back lines with the rolling thunder gonna be able to discombobulate a whole lot of players and that's gonna allow crashies to make his way back on same thing with food for a frag back he's got a cam to get the info and he's ready oh, for the swing he's got nothing again. for it only a dink onto nature how big that kill would have been but you again can't count Ooh. these boys out caboose stops the spike and now it's gonna be three with one flanking the only person that you can't can out at this point it has to be caboose right we talked about it yesterday this guy whenever he's alive it almost seems like envy always has a chance still to his side, Mummy, he's been his own stellar individual Smoke. fragger, but oh my oh. god, paranoia is so massive. But JC Stanny, he was more than ready for it, ready for anyone to peek from that state for that op in general, and especially because Envy, they haven't been able to fight it back with really oh their own gosh. op. It's almost expected, but what a lineup from the paranoia. Oh my. Shot up's gonna be able to get one back easy peasy. Still crashes in this position, looking for a trade back. And um, how does Shot up even win that one? Oh, FNS with a massive task with three players in front of him. He's only able to get one. Chemicals. There you go. Easy frag onto food. Bolts. Whole lot of them. Four charged up. This hunter stream can be big. Early dash. And they're looking for info, but Mummy shut down as soon as he cuts the ground. What can you do here if you're Envy? You're being killed left, right, and center. Oh. And it's just one FNS. 1v5 clutch to close out the half. But Immortals, they have the free sight. And FNS with just a Spectre. And that's it. Flawless round. Really available and food already tagged up just a little bit. Chemicals overwhelmed by the flash. But thanks for watching this cross. Gangsta watching again. cross, nature able to get two. I mean, it's all just disastrous in a sense. Still one over towards Cat hiding right beyond that smoke. And even an isolated player over on B2 that could actually be able to get himself a cheeky frag, but shot up is just a potential, but shot up. Feels like he's going for a solo play with chemicals just around though. They're going for a swing and they look up for the leer. And Chemicals looks down from the top of Cat and takes one life. Now, food with the trade and FNS revealing his position. Can Nature get this kill back, though? 
certainly could, but with the alarm about getting shut away. Nature is essentially on his lonesome again, but there you go. Lockdown is about to go online too if he really wants to hold oh, it back. Nature. But he seriously needs nature. some help. No, he doesn't need help at all. He's all solo. 3K from nature. No, FNS in a 1v4. Gonna be able to get, get himself too. Still the rotation coming in fairly quickly. Spike is still down and short. Jace. Cat at the moment with one still on side with a rolling thunder hitting at almost the optimal angle. But now in comes chemicals. Needs to to really help things out. But immortals are still isolated from sight. Shot up. Could have had one. Could have made things in their favor. But now food still gets the kill back of the plant. Will go down with crashy. Still two remaining now for immortals there's a flank going in as we speak in their spawn so gangsta has to go and he has to go now one in courtyard the killjoy ulti going in fns is gonna be oh. able to no what on earth was that from gangsta the oh, lockdown will hit They're gonna get caught. and not only that but nature actually takes one down with a turret and crashes has no chance gangsta what on earth was that 12 to 5 and immortals it's gus and Envy have to battle seven in a row to even send us to a possible OT. And even furthermore, then they've got to send us to a fifth gangsta early on. JC oh Stani using everything they've got at their disposal. No and they might keep us going. Immortals, they almost kept us going, Envy, but they shut it down. It's so, so quick. And now Immortals, whoa, two whoa, kills whoa, away. Up, what it is. Theory, it's one kill. Can he get a second? They're not done yet, but it's just down to crashies. Here we go, Crashy still holding things down, 30 HP! Nature gets the last kill! And Immortals upset on top of a 